In a land called Ephraim, a man named Elkanah lived with his wife Hannah. Hannah was sad because she really wanted children, but she didn't have any. Every year, Elkanah went to the tabernacle to make sacrifices to God and to worship him. Hannah went with him. She prayed, Lord, if you give me a son, I will dedicate him to you. He will serve you all of his life. A priest named Eli sat nearby and watched Hannah pray. He couldn't hear her, but he saw her lips moving. Eli thought something was wrong with Hannah. I've been pouring out my heart before the Lord, she explained. So Eli replied, go in peace. May God answer your prayers. Hannah and Elkanah returned home and God answered her prayers. After some time, Hannah gave birth to a son. She named the baby Samuel. When Samuel was a little older, Hannah took him to Eli at the tabernacle. God answered my prayers, she said. Hannah pledged Samuel to serve God and she worshiped God. Then Hannah went back home and left Samuel with Eli to serve God. Every year, Hannah returned with a new robe for Samuel. God gave Hannah many more children too. One night, Eli was in his bed and Samuel was lying in the tabernacle when Samuel heard someone call his name. Here I am, Samuel replied. He ran to Eli, here I am, you called me. But it wasn't Eli. He told Samuel to go back to bed. God called Samuel three times, and each time Samuel ran to Eli. Here I am, he said. Eli finally understood that God was calling to Samuel. He told Samuel how to respond. So Samuel went back to his place, and God called, Samuel, Samuel. This time, Samuel spoke up. Speak, for your servant is listening. God told Samuel, that he was going to judge Eli's family for their sin. Eli's sons served as priests in the tabernacle, but they were sinning against God. The next day, Samuel was afraid to tell Eli what God had said, but he shared God's message with Eli. As Samuel grew, God was with him. Everyone in Israel knew that Samuel was God's messenger. God used Samuel to share his plan with the nation of Israel. Hannah trusted God and sent Samuel away from home to serve God with his whole life. God sent Jesus from heaven to earth to be our savior. Just as Samuel used God's words to tell people about God, Jesus, the word who became flesh, perfectly shows us what God is like. Yada, 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 same old, I know, I know, I'm late, you're not. Oh, Bat Poe's not here. Bat Poe's not here. Bat Poe's not here. Bat Poe ain't here. I'm here. Bat Poe's late. I'm not late. What's up? What's good? What? Sorry. Uh, I'm right here, but my glasses is. Why do you always do that, man? Like, I get so excited and I feel the moment. I'm like, He's late, I'm on time, and then you just like hide and show up in weird places, man. Like, can you let me be on time for once? Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Alex. My name is Bat. We're here to give you the catechism. So Bat Paul, why don't you give them the catechism? It's what the people are- Catechism number 20. Catechism number 20 says, who is the redeemer? Mm -hmm. All right, and the answer is, the only Redeemer mm. is our Lord, mm. Jesus Christ. He rose from the grave in order that He might bring us back to Him, mm. to redeem us. Yes. That's why we call Him the Redeemer, like the church we go to. Sheesh. So, we've got some fan mail from our fans, our beautiful fans at home. We love you. We thank you so much for your fan mail. And I'd like to read just one of them. Uh, it says this, <clears throat> Dear Bat and Alex, what were some of your favorite songs in high school? Wow, thank you. So one of my favorite songs 
is the best thing by Reliant K. This is the best thing, the best thing that could be happening. That is And I think you would agree. The best thing is that it's happening to you and I me. I am dying, suffocating in here. Hey, this ain't what your life like. I'm gonna make oh, it I brighter can, like. Okay, uh, I gotta, uh, I, why? Why are you doing that? Ah, stop. Idiot! Oh, gosh! Whoa! Napoleon Dynamo is the worst movie on earth! No, it's not. This is a $24,000 car, man. I did nothing to it. You I slammed the door. The, I didn't slam it. It was I like this your far eyes from the... That's a little bit of our musical taste. Um, a little strange, you know, it was back in high school, eight years ago, maybe. All right, guys, that's Carpool Karaoke. You know where it's at. Fat Poe, me, it's awesome. We love you. Thank you for the questions. You're the best. We're out of here. She wants you to elaborate. Okay. What? What? You're just trying to make bloopers. Blooper bat. For, for the whole time? Blooper bat. We didn't do that. You know, blooper bat, I can hardly deal with him. Can hardly work with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, come on, I'm trying to get this done. Catechism number 20 says, What are those? You're the best. We're out of here. <laughs> you looked at me like... <laughs> That's funny. All right. Are we done? We're done.